Dorner's basic VFD controller has an aluminum backplate with NEMA 1 plastic enclosure, a lighted on-off switch, speed potentiometer, optional forward stop reverse switch, 115 VAC one phase input, and a 230 VAC three phase output. It includes a motor cord and power cord. Shipping with your controller is the VFD unit itself, mounting hardware, and operating and installation manuals. The controller will come pre-wired to your motor when purchased on the same order. When purchased individually, you will be required to wire the controller to the motor yourself. To wire the controller to the motor, first remove the four screws on the terminal box cover. The basic VFD will output 230 VAC three-phase, which is the low voltage or delta scheme seen on the wiring diagram. Be sure your motor terminal leads are set up per the low voltage or delta scheme. In this case, we'll be putting the two jumpers across the terminal here. Next, feed your wires through the cord clamp and the motor. The green ground wire goes to a grounding terminal inside the motor itself. Then attach the three power leads. If you power up the motor and you find that it's rotating in the wrong direction for forward, you can easily switch any two power leads to reverse the direction of the motor. Close up your terminal box and replace the screws. Be sure to tighten the cord grip cover. Now that the motor is wired to the controller, supply power to the controller. To run the motor, simply turn on the lighted on-off switch. Then turn up your speed potentiometer. Increasing or decreasing the speed potentiometer allows you to run faster or slower. If you have the optional forward and reverse switch, this will allow you to change the direction of the motor's rotation. To access the unit control adjustments, simply remove the two screws on the front of the controller. The potentiometers on the side of the controller set fine adjustments such as max speed and minimum speed, acceleration and deceleration, and the current limit inside the motor itself. Consult the vendor manual for further details on these settings.